Hey everybody, welcome back to Prescription Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm doing a quick hit review of George Dickel, 15 year old, single barrel, Tennessee whiskey. So these George Dickel single barrels have been out since 2020 and um, you know they're marked 15 year old whiskey. The um, you know that truly is the minimum age statement on these because there are quite a few store picks out there if you look around that have hang tags on them that you'll see have you know 17, 18, 19 year old whiskey in it. So um, you know I was a little surprised at how low some of the proofs are. Um, you know, one of the stores I went to, I found, um, had a 17 year old hang tag on it, but it was only an 80 proof. Uh, the store I wound up buying this actually had a 19 year hang tag in the store, but it was only about 90 proof. I forget exactly what the proof was. I actually wound up picking this one that had no hang tag, so I'm just gonna go with this 15 year old, but it comes in at 101.2 proof, so 50.6%. So I went for a little higher proof versus a little little older whiskey. So uh, as stated, this is a Tennessee whiskey, so it's not uh, doesn't call itself a bourbon. Although there's a lot of argument out there that uh, Tennessee whiskey basically meets all the criteria to be a bourbon. Uh, they, they just have an added step where they do some charcoal filtering, you know, pre pre barreling. Um, a lot of people will argue that that doesn't add anything to to the distillate. It actually removes stuff, so it's a filtering process. So it you know could be called a bourbon. They choose to call themselves a Tennessee whiskey though. The mash bill on this is 84% corn, 8% rye, and 8% malted barley. So a pretty high corn mash bill. Um, you'll see the same thing in Jack Daniels whiskey. They've, they've got a very high percent corn in their whiskey also. It's got a great dark color on this for being that old. See a little bit of, uh, of the liquid sticking to the edges of the glass, so it's got some, uh, some decent legs on there. So On the nose, I'm definitely getting some oak. Getting some some fruitiness or and some sweetness at the same time. Got a whiff of coconut there for a second, but I do get uh, do get a little bit of that dickel uh, minerality on the nose. I mean, a little bit uh, almost briny. You know, a little, little sharpness there, but actually, I. I don't mind that at all. It's a nice nose. Hmm. Go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers. All right. It's got a good, um, good spiciness to it. Good cinnamon spice. A lot of oak going on there. Um, Tell you, it's not your typical oak. It tastes, it tastes like an older oak. I mean, if, if, if yeah, that's definitely possible. Um, you know, I don't want to say musty or anything like that, but um, you know, it's obviously 15 year old, so. And I, I don't know, if, I don't know where they get their barrels from. If if Dickel makes their own barrels, they get them somewhere else. Definitely tasting, tasting the oak, the wood from that from that barrel. There's some sweetness there, especially on the finish. I think there's it's spicier up front. Yeah, I mentioned the legs look like it might have some viscosity to it, but um, the viscosity in the mouth is is anything you know above normal. It's it's a you know it's not super thin, but it's it's not a not a viscous drink. I can't get over, I, I keep getting a little bit of coconut on that nose all of a sudden, so. But, um, 
yeah, I've been, I've had a few pours of this already. Um, the oak has been there all along, that, that older, um, almost musty oak. Not overpowering at all. It's actually, it's actually nice. It's nice on the nose. It's different on the, different on the taste. The sweetness has been nice. I've detected some fruitiness on, on my prior pours. You know, definitely some, some vanilla in there also. Um, but yeah, this, um, I, I will say, I don't want to scare anybody off on that minerality note that I mentioned. That I, I don't get it on the taste, really. The taste is actually, is actually very pleasant, very nice. You know, whiskey, you know, bourbon, bourbon flavors going on there. Very enjoyable sip. Uh, I'm really glad I picked this up. You know, these go for about seventy dollars. Um, so for a fifteen-year-old, you know, whiskey, seventy dollars is, is an amazing price point, and they're actually, you know, well priced. Yeah, that might scare some people off. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I think you might be able to in some places find this down in, in the sixties. You know, sixty-dollar price range. But um, I'd say seventy to eighty dollars is probably more typical for what you're going to find. Uh, look for those hang tags on them. Look, look for some older for some older distillate. Uh, but I tell you, just has a little bit of that dick old nose on there. But it's not bad to me. Um, you know, I know some people always talk dick old. They talk you know Flintstone vitamins, which I actually liked Flintstone vitamins as a kid. Yeah, I don't think it's anything to be scared off of. You know, some people probably don't like don't like that taste, and that's fine. But um, you know, it's just different. It's not off-putting. I actually think the nose is pleasant. The the taste, honestly, is 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 a little better than the nose. Don't be afraid of that dickle tickle. I get it a little on the nose, but not on the taste. Um, this is a nice nice uh, pour. The spice level is great. The sweetness and the fruitiness is it's more of a, you know, it is more of a vanilla, you know, slight creme brulee type taste on that, um, and and it lingers. I think the, the fruitiness and, the, and stuff comes late in the taste. The spice is there. The heat is is nice. It's this is a little over 100 proof here, 101 proof. So, you know, great pickup. Um, like I say, I saw some bottles that were much lower proof than this. This was actually the highest one I could find. I shopped around town and um, you know, went, went to several different liquor stores and this was the highest I could find. So that's why I picked it up. Yeah. For, for $70, I think, I think this is an excellent pickup. Appreciate you tuning in. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps. Leave some comments down below. What do you think of George Dickel Whiskey? If you like it, if you don't like it, you know, let me know. Uh, I know they've got some uh, some bottle and bonds that have been out for the last few years, also some thirteen year and some different age statements, and you know, different people have, have had different uh, different success rates with with it. So I think this is something, uh, especially with all the different ages out there and the different proofs out there, you know, might be interesting to definitely find some more pours of this and 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 see and see what's out there. May eventually buy another bottle or something, but if I could get some other pours for some people, I think that would be be very neat to uh, to see what see what they've got going on here. Remember, everybody, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. The best bourbon comes from Kentucky. Tennessee makes some good stuff too. Cheers. Okay.